bad boy. I can't take myself seriously. Oh no! My trusty Coco goes back. Guess who's back? Back again. That was so cringy. I, don't, I, I wanted to do that, but now I'm like regretting my decisions. But anyway, I am back, guys. It has been a couple of months since I have filmed. I would say I've got loads to update you on, but I don't really. But I thought I would sit down and we're gonna test some new makeup. We're gonna just sit and chat and hopefully you will enjoy. So if you're new, well, you're probably all new to my channel because I haven't uploaded in about three months four months, something like that. So my name is Rosina, I create makeup, skincare, and a bit of lifestyle content here on this channel. So if you're into any of that, then subscribe down below. But without further ado, let's get into this. I have way too much energy today. So I'm hoping that this foundation will match the energy that I have in my body we're going to be testing out the was viral don't know whether it is still viral tiktok foundation that was going around everywhere it is the be perfect cosmetics chroma cover foundation i ordered this probably oh three months ago i forgot i ordered this i was getting ready to film this video i was going to film like a get ready with me and i was going through a box out of packages where i just have a box of unopened makeup and I saw this and I was like, I haven't tested this. I want to know if this is any good because it has some wild, wild claims. So this is the matte foundation. I got it in the shade N1. Hoping it's not gonna be too pale or too orangey, but we'll see. It is a matte foundation, weightless full coverage matte foundation. Skin optimizing ingredients combined together and concentrated pigment ensuring longevity and a matte finish. It also has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. That sounds right up my street. I have bought it up on the website. There isn't much more about it on the website. It is made with skin optimizing ingredients combined with concentrated pigment to give a flawless full coverage. Finished that lasts all day. It has 36 shades with three different undertones, warm, neutral, and cool, which is incredible. I think that's really good for a shade range. It says to prime. I'm gonna prime in my toucher, my usual prime, and then just apply it. Use a brush or a blend like a beauty blender you guys if you've known me I don't need brushes on this channel I've tried I have brushes here like I have the Scott Barnes like kabuki brush I just never get on with brushes I even have the Smith 115 which is Jamie Genevieve's favorite foundation brush and again I can't get on with it so we're going to use my trusty Coco Cosmetics sponge this is the marshmallow sponge so I'm going to quickly nip off camera prime my skin do my eyebrows and I'll be back to put this bad boy to the test I'm back I have pushed my hair back done my eyebrows I've also gone in with my touch of primer and my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter so now we can crack open this foundation love the packaging it's very like sturdy okay I said I love the packaging but I can't open it oh it's like presented oh god I it was at this moment he knew he fucked up don't think this is gonna match me I think it's gonna be way too pale. I went N1. Guys, I think I made a mistake here. I may have to like really bronze up my skin after this. Look how pale that is. If that's the color of the foundation, I'm gonna look like a ghost. I think I always think I'm like paler than I actually am. This is not coming out. Anyone else have this issue? What the hell? Either this is really thick foundation or this pump is broken. Is this what happens when you buy it off of a um, TikTok shop? Guys, this is not, look, it's not even getting any more like resistance. Right, I'm just gonna have to apply it like this. That is very pale. I don't know how much to apply because I can't do like pumps. So I'm just gonna put it on my face. Way too pale, but we will, <laughs> we will warm it up with other products. It's so thick. It reminds me of the Dermalogica foundation. Is it Dermalogica? That really thick, heavy foundation that everyone was obsessed with a couple of years ago. Also smells like paint. I'm gonna look like a ghost. <laughs> oh no! It's covering the redness. I look like a bloody clown. Oh my God, guys, how am I gonna? I'm saying I can warm this up, but I don't know how. Just keep blending. I can't take myself seriously. It doesn't feel very heavy considering it is a full coverage foundation. I will say that. I thought this would be my winter shade, but 
I don't even go this pale in winter. This is the issue when you buy things online, guys. You look like a clown. The issue of having a shade that is the wrong shade for you is if you miss one little section, it's really noticeable. So I have to make sure I've blended right up into my hairline, all the way down, blended into my eyebrows. We're gonna have to go through my eyebrows today. I can't take myself seriously. This would be perfect if I was turning myself into a clown. Gonna zoom, gonna zoom you guys in. I can't look at myself. This is what my skin is looking like. The coverage is really, really nice. The finish is really, really nice. The color is really, really wrong. But, like I keep saying, we will rectify the color with other products. But we're gonna just focus on the actual foundation for a minute. This is what it's looking like. It's covered all that redness. I didn't actually apply that much, I don't think. It's a nice sort of a demi-matte finish. Not as matte as I thought, but I think that's probably because of the products I've got underneath as well. Obviously, I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is how we are looking. Okay, we're going to try and warm this up, but we also want to see how other products layer on top of this. So, I'm going to go in with my Nude Sticks. This is the Bondi Bay, Bondi Bay sort of contour stick, which I have actually almost finished as well. I do find it easier to correct a shade that's too light than a shade that's too dark, because that's a lot of work. Guy, I, I can't take myself seriously like this. Oh, putting this on makes me go muddy. Go muddy, guys. I love the fact that this feels like I've got like nothing on my skin, which is really, really nice. Obviously I don't like love the fact that I feel like a ghost. We're getting there. It's getting better. It is getting better. I should have said Casper, the ghost is back. It's a good job I don't tan anymore, isn't it? I'd be screwed otherwise, because this would be way too light. This would have to be a lot of work to sort it out. See, that's not bad. I wouldn't say that's the worst shade match now. Now we're gonna go in with my Made by Mitchell blush in Peach Sugar. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this just on the high points of my cheeks. Because when I test a foundation, I like to see how all other products that I would usually use will go on top because the last thing you wanna do is get a foundation you absolutely love, but none of your previous products that you love will blend out on top of it. I've had thicker foundations that do not like having products blended on top of them. I also saw this really cool sort of trick on TikTok where you can make people feel a certain sort of sensation. So like if it's like cold outside, you would apply the blush in a certain way and it make people feel like you're cold. And I really like that idea and I think that's really cool. Also, this is also making my teeth look very yellow. And keep my mouth closed for a minute until we have um, sort of rectified this situation. <laughs> We're going with my NARS Chantility Soft Matte Complete Concealer, the matte one. And we're just going to apply this here and up here. This like matches this foundation nearly. Let me know what you guys want to see. I've also seen people doing like the reverse contouring, which has come back into style, or the backwards makeup, basically where you apply as little product as you can to the face, and it basically makes it look a lot less like cakey, cakey, cakey. I love how my skin looks. So it doesn't say if it's like sweat proof or anything like that. So I kind of I like foundations that don't like claim things that are unnecessary. Does that make sense? Like a sweat proof foundation is nice, but if I'm gonna be sweating, I'm not gonna be wearing a foundation anyway, in reality. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we can see how these products have layered. It has layered so nicely on top of this foundation. I feel like it still looks like my skin, but just soft, if that makes sense. I'm gonna quickly nip off camera, do the rest of my makeup, do my hair, then I'll be back to show you the completed look. And I'm gonna do a full day wear test. It's currently midday, so I'll probably wear this till about 10 o'clock tonight. Hopefully if I don't go to the gym. If I'm going to the gym, it'll probably be about seven o'clock. <laughs> or maybe I will do a test to see how it lasts in the gym. Let me know if you wanna see a video like that. I have wanted to film one for ages, but I don't know whether I'm gonna be looking really weird going to the gym with a full face of makeup on, considering how much I wear. So let me know what you guys think. Like I say, ignore the colour match. That is something that I can rectify by buying a different colour. But what do you guys think of the actual product itself? Are we liking how the skin looks? I'm liking it so far. So I'll see you in a minute once I've done the full face. Okay, excuse my big hair. I've just curled, that is very hot. I just waved that right near my face, jeez. 
my hair looks massive, but I've done my makeup. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see. This is how we are looking right now. It is currently two o'clock. That took me two hours to do my hair and finish my makeup. But this foundation has been on now already for two hours. So we're gonna see how it lasts. And I'm gonna check in with you guys whenever I remember to check in with you guys because you guys know I am rubbish at doing this I will do a check in either tonight or I'll wear it over the weekend and give you a full day wear test with it but this is what I'm looking like right now I am loving it and the colour match wasn't so bad in the end once we warmed up a bit to match my like face and neck and face and neck neck and hands so I will see you in the next clip whenever that will be is this quite possibly my quickest video I've ever filmed? Possibly. So it is now eight o'clock, just after eight o'clock. I've spent the whole day, well, I've not really done much. I walked down to meet my mum, I've had dinner. I'm gonna take these off. As always, this bit of my nose, the makeup always comes off, but it has not come off as badly as it usually does. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see. So like I said, it's come off my nose, but it hasn't really sunk into here i haven't powdered anymore it's not oily like nothing like i could probably wear this for another 10 hours and probably wouldn't see much of a change the powders do come off but that usually happens it kind of wears off a little bit throughout the day but i still feel like i'm well like put together like i could just quickly put my hair up and i would be ready to go out and I feel really pretty. I really like this coverage. And although the colour is way too light for me, it has blended into my skin quite nicely. I don't feel like I've gone orange. It didn't oxidise at all, which is really, really nice. So I really like this. If you are into that demi, it's not, I wouldn't say it's completely matte. I'd say it's more demi matte. Maybe if you didn't have like a glowy base to put it on top of, maybe it'd be a bit more matte, but I don't feel like it's uncomfortable matte. And it's not sticky at all. Like I feel, like I say, like really put together. I don't know how else to say this guys. I'm just gonna zoom you guys out a little bit because I feel very close. But I am really happy with this. I'll continue to test it and let you guys know. But on a first impression, I would highly recommend this. If you have oily skin, you would love this. If you have like more dry skin, like leaning more towards the dry side, I feel like you may find this a little bit difficult to like blend on top of, because I feel like it would cling to those dry patches. It gives me the consistency of the Huda Faux Filter Foundation, but a little bit less clingy. And I really, really like that. I do end up usually really oily throughout the day, as you guys have seen in my previous videos. But yeah, I am more oily. I'm a combination of oily and dry, but my T-zone is usually an oil slick by now if I'm wearing any makeup. I've had compliments about this makeup and I find it really difficult to take compliments, but I can actually give myself a compliment in this makeup and say, I feel gorgeous. So if you're looking for your new sort of, I wouldn't say this is an everyday foundation because it does take a bit of blending but if you're looking for a new matte foundation ready for the winter i love this i'm obsessed they have 36 shades so i'm sure you'll be able to find a shade and even if you don't if you go for a shade that's a bit lighter like i did obviously mine was like a ghost shade i feel like this is really sort of blended into my skin really really nicely like my mum can tell that i had picked the wrong shade up so yes 10 out of 10 highly recommend let me know down below if you've tried this foundation also let me know what you think of it on my skin give this video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed subscribe to my channel if you haven't already most of the people that, I, that watch my videos i think over 90 percent of you guys watch my videos are not subscribed so if you want to see more of me more of my craziness don't really know what's going on at the minute then subscribe and if you want to be notified when i upload because i am going to be uploading a bit sporadically towards the end of the year and then hopefully next year i will get on a proper rotor routine schedule and you can be like ensured that you'll get a video at least once a week but if you want to be notified when i upload until then ring the notification bell follow me on social media and i will see you in my next video don't know when that will be but love you guys have a lovely day and i will see you next time